It is a great honor to be able to speak to you today. I am Kenji Nagata, working as a PhD student in the available at the University of Tokyo. Today, I'd like to talk about the mechanism by which ceramid measures the information about cell location and direct the position specific protodermal cell differentiation in Arachidopsis sariana. As you know, plants are multicellular organisms made up of different types of specialized cells that carry out different functions. Of course, such specialized cells are not randomly arranged, but well organized to form a functional plant body. Cuticleized epidermal cells, which I will focus on today, adhere strongly to each other and form a physical barrier against various stresses. To form this physical barrier, epidermal cells need to be differentiated at the interface between the plant body and the external environment. To develop the epidermal cells in the correct position, the outermost cells must know where they are. My purpose today is to explain how the outermost cells know where they are to differentiate into the epidermal cells. To explore the mechanism underlying position specific epidermal cell differentiation, I focused on ATML1 and its paralog PDF2. ATML1 and PDF2 encode HGP class 4 transcription factors, and as you can see in these pictures of ATML1 expression in IRL tissue and roots, the expression is strictly restricted to the outermost cells. ATML1 and PDF2 specifically bind to the L1 box, a well conserved cis regulatory element within the promoter region of epidermis specific genes. This binding means that they can orchestrate a variety of epidermis specific events. Thus, ATML1 and PDF2 act as master regulators of epidermal cell differentiation and therefore dictate the location where the epidermal identity manifests. So, in order to understand how the outermost cells know where they are and differentiate in the epidermal cells properly, the question we need to address is how ATML1 and PDF2 are expressed in an outermost cell specific manner. Importantly, an L1 box is also found in the promoter of ATML1 and PDF2, and previous research has shown that expression is mainly regulated by ATML1 and PDF2 themselves via transcriptional feedback loop called autoregulation. But how can such a simple mechanism regulate the position dependent expression of ATML1 and PDF2? One possible answer to this question is that epidermal cells predominantly and divide anticlinally and produce their progeny cells in the outermost cell position again. So this position feedback loop can be stably passed on to the outermost epidermal cells. However, periclinal cell divisions in the epidermis can be occasionally observed during plant development, but these inner cells derived from outermost cells never differentiate in epidermal cells. Why don't these cells differentiate in the epidermal cells despite the autoregulation mechanism? We have carefully examined the ATML1 expression in such inner cells directly derived from outermost cells expressing ATML1 and PDF2. The outermost cells of the eight cell stage embryo express ATML1 and PDF2, and these outermost cells always divide periclinally to produce inner daughter cells. As reported previously, in the majority of 16 cell stage embryos, ATML1 EGFP signal was limited to the outermost cells. But surprisingly, the EGFP signal was sometimes observed in the inner cells as well as the outermost cells. So it seems that this embryo represents the transient state between these two embryos. This suggests that these ATML1 protein in inner cells are passed on from their mother cells, but the protein disappear from these cells without activating the transcription of ATML1. In other words, this result suggests that an unknown positional signal in the outermost cells is required for ATML1 function and stability, and therefore to maintain ATML1 expression via autoregulation. From here, we tried to test this hypothesis. Please note that from the next experiment, as an alternative to embryos, we used the root as an experimental, experimental system to take advantage of EGR sampling and imaging processes. To confirm that the stability of ATML1 protein in the root changes according to cell position as it does in embryos, 
we used a heat induce, inducible transient expression system of ATML1 using a HSP promoter. Heat pulse treatment can induce transcription transiently in all cells. Indeed, we confirm that ATML1 expression and NLSMHRE expression as a control are both induced in the heat pulse treatment dependent manner in all cells immediately after heat pulse treatment. What you see in these pictures are the signals of ATML1 EGFP and NLSM cherry in roots two hours after the heat pulse treatment. In contrast to NLSM cherry, the EGFP signal was detected specifically in the outermost cells. Thus, in root, an unknown positional signal seems to be required to maintain ATML1 stability and autoregulated ATML1 expression in the outermost cells, as is the case in embryos. To identify the positional signal that mediates the outermost cell position, we focused on the repeat binding status domain in ATML1 protein. In plants, status domains are predominantly associated with homeodomain transcription factors and regulate transcription factor activity via binding to repeat ligand. By an amino acid alignment with a well-characterized mammalian status domain protein, we identified the 471st drift fan of ATML1 as an important residue for repeat binding. We then generated a missense mutation into the residue to disrupt the repeat binding ability of ATML1. By using the mutated ATML1, we performed the transient expression assay again. As a result, in contrast to the wild type protein, a rapid attenuation of mutated ATML1 EGFP signal was observed in the outermost cells as well as inner cells. These results indicate that repeat mediated positional information is required for outermost cell specific ATML1 stability and autoregulated ATML1 expression. Then we screened for potential repeat spaces that interact with the ATML1 and identified the C24 ceramid as an ATML1 interactor. Ceramid is an important bioactive repeat belonging to the sphingolipid family, and C24 ceramid represents ceramid with a very long chain fatty acid, referred to as VLCFS ceramid. Interestingly, further evaluation of the effect of the mutation of W471 reveals that this mutation specifically attenuates the inter interaction between ATML1 and VLCFS ceramid. To determine whether the stability of ATML1 in outermost cells is controlled by VLCFS ceramid, we examine the effect of caffeine stroll, a specific inhibitor of VLCFS biosynthesis. We again performed the transient expression assay with caffeine stroll treated plants and found that caffeine stroll treatment disrupts the stability of wild type ATML1 protein in the outermost cells as well as the mutated ATML1 protein. To further examine whether the modulation of ATML1 stability by VLCFS ceramid is involved in the autoregulated transcription of ATML1 and PDF2, we analyzed their messenger RNA levels in caffeine stroll treated plants. As caffeine stroll treatment strongly reduces the amount of ATML1 and PDF2 messenger RNAs, we concluded that VLCFS ceramid is an outermost positional cue required to maintain ATML1 stability and autoregulated ATML1 expression. Next, to understand the characteristics of VLCFS ceramid as a positional cue, we analyzed the expression pattern of PAS2, an essential enzyme for VLCFS biosynthesis. And we found that the expression pattern of PAS2 EGFP was very similar to that of ATML1 and PDF2. This result suggests that VLCFS ceramid is synthesized predominantly in the outermost cells. Such an outermost cell specific expression pattern of PAS2 may be regulated by ATML1 and PDF2 because the L1 box is found in the promoter of PAS2. Indeed, analysis of ceramid contents reveals that the amount of major VLCFS ceramid spaces marked with red frame are reduced significantly in ATML1 PDF2 W mutant, indicated as red bar, compared to the wild type plant, indicated as gray bar. 
it is suggests that VLCFA ceramide biosynthesis is activated in the outermost cells, mainly via transcriptional activation of biosynthesis genes by a positive feedback loop involving HTML1 and PDF2. These results raise a question, that is, whether VLCFA ceramide determines the position where HTML1 functions, or HTML1 determines the position where VLCFA ceramide is synthesized. To understand this chicken or egg question, we focused on the highly compartmented outer lateral membrane of the epidermal cells. In mammalian polarized epithelial cells, lipid microdomain-based apical sorting and trafficking result in sphingolipid-rich apical membrane compartmentation. Very similarly, as you can see in these pictures, the plasma membrane of plant epidermal cells is known to be compartmentalized into the outer, outer lateral membrane that faces the external environment and the inter, inner lateral membrane that faces the plant body. To analyze the role of VLCFA ceramide in the outer inner polarity of plant epidermal cells, we analyzed the localization of each membrane marker in presence of an inhibitor of VLCFA ceramide biosynthesis and found that the localization of outer lateral membrane marker WBC11 was affected in epidermal cells treated with inhibitor, but that of inner lateral membrane marker, Lemory 1.2, was not. This indicates that VLCFA ceramide play a role in establishing the outer lateral membrane compartment and are enriched in this membrane compartment. The outer lateral membrane, indicated as green line in this diagram, faces external environment. When anticlinal cell division occurs in the outermost cells and two outermost daughter cells are produced, the outermost outer lateral membrane of mother cells will be passed on to both outermost daughter cells. In contrast, when periclinal cell division occurs in the outermost cells and outer and inner daughter cells are produced, the outer lateral membrane of mother cells will be passed on only to the outermost daughter cells. Thus, VLCFA ceramide as a constituent of the outer lateral membrane could be stably inherited in the outermost cells, so VLCFA ceramide can be function as an outermost positional cube. To end my presentation, I wish to sum up our main points. We found that HTML1 protein senses the cell location by interacting with its lipid ligand. VLCFA ceramide. Given that VLCFA ceramide are components of the outer lateral membrane of, outer, of the outermost cells, VLCFA ceramides are predominantly passed on to the outermost cells. Thus, protein lipid association between ATML1 and VLCFA ceramide occurs in the outermost cell specific manner. This consequently restricts ATML1 expression to the outermost cells through autoregulation. And finally, by ATML1 activity in the outermost cells, the epidermis is differentiated as an outermost tissue. We have some remaining questions that we would like to address in the future. For example, how do VLCFA ceramics modulate the stability of ATML1? Do lipids also re modulate the function of other stud domain containing proteins? And why did plants specifically de develop such a repeat-dependent development mechanism? By addressing this these issues, we hope to elucidate the evolutionary strategy unique for Cecil plants. At last, I would like to thank these people listed and all development journal staffs. This is all for my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. So have you looked at the other, so you, you know, you have now identified one enzyme uh, in this past, past two uh, of, the, of, the, of the sphingolipid biosynthetic pathway. Have you, have you looked at other enzymes? I mean, it, it takes the whole, whole pathway. Do you think that this past two is the important fu function to define the specificity of, of this uh, 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 ceramide pathway to the membrane or also are, are some other enzymes also expressed 
in a similarly specific manner. So, so your question is about the expression pattern of other enzyme involved yeah. in the yeah uh, in the... yeah I uh, so far I don't I have not uh, observed the other enzyme expression pattern, but uh, other papers have shown that uh, other enzymes involved in BHFA, BHFA biosynthesis is expressed in uh, L1 specific manner. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we think that mm -hmm. uh, our our result is uh, consistent with the former result, uh, previous result. Good. So then there will be other, other papers. So first, uh, other, talk, other, other questions. First is from Michal Reisig. Uh, did you try to overexpress FLC FA cells, the biosynthetic genes in the inner layers to stabilize the the HTML one? Yeah, uh, actually, we do, we do not uh, such an experiment because uh, there's a number of uh, enzymes uh, to to produce the BHF ceramide. So it is difficult to overexpress the all, all enzymes in a in constitutive manner. So we do not uh, perform such experiment, but I want to do in the future. That is the future plan. Very good, very good. So then uh, there's a question from Pierre Hilson. Uh, nice. What happens when the L1 cell layer is perturbed, uh, for example, by laser ablation or incision? How do your markers react then in the neighboring cells? Uh, previous research has shown when the L1, L1, layer cell, L1 cells are ablated, uh, the inner cells and inner cells are exposed to the surface. The cells that exposed to the surface is uh, differentiate into epidermis. So I, I think uh, in such con condition, uh, epidermis do not regenerate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's, it's so okay. then a uh, um, question from Johan But uh, uh, nice work. I might have missed this, but did you look at full sphingolipid profile, long chain LCBs or and, and G, GIPC content? Yes, I have uh, investigated it, and that is very similar to uh, ceramid pattern. So that is uh, significant re significant reduction in Bouillet-Chauffe content of in GIPC and other sphingolipid, as well as ceramid. Mm. So then, I think the last question uh, is from Lucia Padurova. Uh, great talk. Do you have any suggestions for mechanism of HTML1 proteolysis? Yes, this is uh, this is very preliminary result, but uh, we have uh, identified some easily mixing ligases that interact with uh, HTML1 only when it is mutated. So we think that is very uh, important uh, important to enzyme. Uh, that involved in the etimiran proteolysis. Thank you. So, so um, there's one more question, maybe F one final question for Johan Butte. In your model, you suggested ceramide localized differentially in outer cells. Have you have you tested this experimentally? Oh, experimentally, uh, I. Uh, all I I did is the uh, check check whether the outer lateral membrane is affected or inner lateral membrane is affected by the inhibitor treatment. Mm -hmm. So we do not check directly the uh, ceramic localiza localization. So and it is difficult to uh, observe the directory. Mm -hmm. So I want to do it, but uh, now it is. Uh, uh, it is not, uh, so far we do not eat. Good, good. 